Happy Mother's Day to all the amazing moms out there today, especially to my great mom and any other moms in my family. Happy Mother's Day to you guys. Today I'm doing a top 10 video on the top 10 best moms in film. Now this is obviously my opinion. There are so many moms in film culture and video game culture and TV culture and all that genre and stuff. And I just wanted to talk about like my top 10 favorites. Now some of these might be a little bit controversial. Some of them might be a little bit recent. I might not have picked from the ones like from older classic films, but I picked what really has resonated and stuck with me so without further ado guys make sure to tell me down below what your guys to tell me down below what is your top 10 moms or just some of your favorite moms in film or TV culture in general but without further ado let's get straight into this coming down at number 10 is gonna be Essie Davis's character from the Babadook I know her mom isn't really the best if you look into the Babadook and see like is this thing real is it not is she just crazy is she a psychopath in some senses yeah she could be all of that but the thing I like about this character is one she just, in the end of the day, wants to care about her son. That is probably one of the biggest culture things for this. I put her at number 10 because as much as I love the Babadook, she's not the best mom in general because she does kind of, like, try to kill her son. But the thing about this is, is, like, is it the demon? Is it her? Is she just crazy? But in the end of the day, she does love her son and that the most important thing is, is making sure her son is safe and is happy. Me down at number nine is gonna be Ellen Ripley from Alien. Given Ellen Ripley is not really truly a mom in culture, but I think she has a lot, a lot of mom things to her. You know, the relationship she carries with Newt is a lot of mom is stuff. I look at the films and I see that. You see this through all the alien films that Ellen Ripley Sigourney Weaver's character goes throughout. And you see a lot of those mom qualities. She cares for her crew. She loves her family in general. And she does whatever it does to take and protect them, even if it's in the most badass of ways. I mean, down at number eight is going to be Frances McDormand's character from Three Billboards. Now, this film's pretty recent, but this mom really does stick out to me. For one, if you die and Frances McDormand's your mom, she's going to be kicking kids in the dick because she's going to want them to know that, hey, my daughter really meant a lot to me. And that's a lot of the things about Three Billboards. She is this desperate mom trying to figure out and trying to get people to care still about her daughter's death. Her daughter died and no one cared. That, that's something strong. No one cared about this situation. And, and that's something that Frances McDormand's trying to arise up into here. And I love that about her character and her the, just the sensibility she has of this mom. You could care she was a loving, caring mom. And after she lost her daughter and after really everyone just kind of stopped caring about it, she obviously came to play and really see, left some force in there with her to find out who did this and make everyone else start caring again. Plus, like I said, it's Frances McDormand. She, she's a great... She's a great person to have as your mom. Coming down at number seven is going to be Holly Hunter from The Big Sick. I loved this film. This is in my, one of my favorite films of all time. Now, I've seen this film so many times. But the thing that always sticks out to me is Holly Hunter's performance as the mom. The mom in this character she just you you get so close you can look at her and see a lot of sensibilities to my own mom and i think that's a reason that i love the big six so much she's caring she's understanding she's there for her daughter and she just wants what's best for her she's a great mom she has great humor to her and plus she tries to get along with the boyfriend which is a nice thing she doesn't try to pull a gun out of him but in the same way she's also a strict mom trying to make sure that the boyfriend knows hey i'm the one to fuck with Coming down at number six is going to be Lady Bird. Laurie McCaff's mom character in here is one of the best in recent history. As much as I don't think Lady Bird is like an amazing movie, I still think it's a good film. Laurie Metcalf's relationship that she has with Sorcerer Ronan in this film is something so relatable that I think a lot of people can pick apart either your son with a mom relationship or a daughter in a mom relationship. In some way, shape, or form, Laurie Metcalf's mom embodies all those relationships with Sorcerer Ronan, with the caring and sensibilities, with those loving sensibilities, with the car ride conversations with the conversations about college and school and just trying to like when you're when you're going crazy as a teenager and you're like I'm the best at everything blah 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 I can do whatever I want and Laurie Metcalf's trying to hold you down and tell you you know you can believe in that and I think that's one of the best aspects of Lady Bird it's a sense of, it's a part of Lady Bird that I didn't really pick apart till the second viewing of the film and I just think Laurie Metcalf really played that part to a par, and it was just fantastic. No wonder she got nominated for this role. Coming down at my top five, we're getting down to the top five, guys. My top five favorite mom in film history is the mother from Room, or might I say Brie Larson. I, th this role is one of the best performances I've seen in years. I, I love Brie Larson's take on this, but the thing is, is that pretty much her son and her are locked in this room for the whole entire film. She doesn't care if she dies to get her son 
out into the open to live a healthy life to live a life better than this because for the first five years of her son's life she he only knows about this little room thinking that's all it is and that tv is fake and that door the explorer is fake and all these different things are fake and it's just them two and this weird man but she's one of the best characters in there she cares for her son she wants the best for him even though she kind of does screw up a little bit in the end she still in the end of the day wants what's best for her son she cares she loves him and tries to keep him in healthiest shape possible and you just see all those loving sensibilities in this film coming in number four is gonna be kill bill the bride now let me tell you this mom does not give a shit she will hack slash kill go through comas car crashes violence and anyone possible to get to her children she is a one of the best characters she's one of the most kick-ass female protagonists in any film and it's just overall Uma Thurman betraying her is just fantastic. And coming in at number three is going to be Sandra Bullock's character from The Blind Side. I love The Blind Side. I guess some people can say, oh, well, it's kind of like a made-for-television movie. No, I don't care. The performance Sandra Bullock gives in this film is one of the best in recent years for supporting actress and actresses in general. I, I love the performance that Sandra Bullock brought in here. The loving mother that you can believe in this true story, that she just cares for everyone. Anyone who gets welcomed into this family, she just she's like my mom in a sense. Like she welcomes people into this family. This big growing family. And I love all the sensibility she brings to this character. The charm, the humor, the sweetness, the cooking, everything. I can somehow relate to this relationship and I love that the relationship she has with her kids, her husband, and even the big Michael Orr, the great guy. Coming in at number two is going to be Elastigirl from The Incredibles. Who knew Holly Hunter could be another great mom in another film? The Incredibles is one of my favorite films of all time, but the thing about Elastigirl is it's Elastigirl. She's a great mom. She cares about her kids. She cares about this family. Even though she's a superhero, she gives that all up. Given we see in The Incredibles two trailers that she's kind of going back into the action, but she's doing this for her children so they have a life to live. But in the first Incredibles, she brings them together. She keeps them safe. She has those motherly instincts. And plus, she's stretchy. She's badass. And I love her. Coming in at number Number one is hands down the best mom in any film and that is Sarah Connor and I don't mean any other version of Sarah Connor I mean the OG Sarah Connor this Sarah Connor is the epitome of what any mom should be she's badass She's kick-ass. She turns into a warrior. I mean, she takes years of training to become this warrior in Terminator 2. That is the definition of a kick-ass, badass mom who will do anything to protect her child. I love Sarah Connor. She is my favorite mom in film history. Guys, that's my top 10 moms in film. Tell me, guys. Make sure to comment down below and tell me what your, some of your guys' favorite moms are. I know I probably missed out on a ton. There's so many moms when I was doing research for this. I probably missed out some. You guys are going to put down some in the comments. And I'm going to be like, damn. I should have knew about that. Maybe I should have put down Martha from Batman v Superman. <laughs> Again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure to share this video with all the great moms out there because I'm a charming kid, so I like to charm the moms. And also go ahead and hit up all my social media links down below where you guys can talk more geeky culture, nerd culture, or even send me some other funny memes and stuff. I love seeing that kind of stuff. And also the most important thing is go hit up Sandwich John Films down below because down below that's where you guys can get into advanced movie screens. Check out some movie news and movie reviews. So, of course, guys, make sure to look out for a ton of videos this weekend. I'm, I'm going to be hitting some double uploads each day of the, almost this week. I have tons of content for you guys this week. Of course, guys, thank you guys again so much for watching and until next time, stay classy.